Hi, Max. Appreciate your time. Congratulations on everything. Um, your first game in two years and your first career shutout. Just um, how do you encapsulate what today was like for you? Uh, a lot of lots of nerves, obviously, you know, coming into uh, my first NHL game in two years. Uh, I just wanted to keep it simple, uh, clear my head as much as I could, and, you know, uh, just, you know, go as a go as the, the game came to me. So uh, I tried to have fun. I think I, I did, actually. And uh, the boys played in front of me uh, a good game. So it was a good team effort. And I'm uh, obviously very, very happy of the result. Mike DeFabo. Hey, Max. Uh, it couldn't have been easy to step in under these circumstances. What did you do to try to keep yourself ready and be prepared for this opportunity? Uh, like I said, I just I didn't want to overcomplicate anything. I just wanted to, you know, uh, come in, uh, do do what I do, you know, and uh, at the AHL level, uh, uh, the same thing, you know, the, my game doesn't change uh, from down there or up here, uh, and you know, I've been working hard on the ice, uh, either on the taxi squad or in the world. so it's, uh, uh, I, I like where my game is at, and you know, I'm glad to see uh, some result for sure. Thank you, your Steve. Hi, Max, you made a pretty good glove save on uh, Olofsson there midway through the third period. Did you get a good read off of his stick, or was that just instinct? Uh, it was a little bit of both. Uh, I obviously I read the pass, but uh, the reaction on the on the shot was probably instinct. Honestly, uh, I was telling the boys too uh, that uh, when he shot it, I just literally put my glove up and it hit. So uh, sometimes you gotta be uh, you gotta be lucky, and uh, I'll take it up. Obviously, take a couple more, Rob Rossi. Hey, Max, congratulations. Um, does you. seeing all that rubber early uh, help you in this type of situation? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, uh, like I said, coming in, uh, lots of nerves. So when you get a couple shots right off the bat, you know, it, it kind of uh, get rid of those nerves and you just uh, uh, feel more confident as the game goes on. And they, they did put a lot of pucks on that uh, for uh, for the first two periods. So. Uh, I felt really comfortable. The, the guys, like I said earlier, uh, they cleared any rebound that uh, uh, had to be cleared. So uh, it makes my job uh, that much easier. So I have them to thank for uh, for the result as well. Seth? Uh, Max, what has this entire season been like for you in, in a position that you're in? I mean, you know, obviously by design with how the season is structured, you haven't played much. You've been spending a lot of time on uh, the taxi squad, not even playing many games in the American League. Just what has this season been like from the mental grind of just not playing much? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot different than, uh, than what uh, we're used to. Um, you know, it's but at the same time, you know, I, I think uh, my game uh, keeps growing. Uh, I work a lot with the uh, uh, goalie coach in uh, in Wilkes and uh, uh, Buck here, uh, so it's uh, it's very uh, it, it helps a lot. I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, you want to get into games. Uh, that's where you know you get your 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 feels. That's where you you feel good about yourself. Uh, but you know it's uh, it's not been easy, I wouldn't say. But at the same time, you know I learned a lot about myself as a goalie, uh, and yeah, I like I like my where my game is at. Last question, Mike DeFabo. Max, you've obviously been part of this organization, but what does it mean to you to get into a game and to contribute in such a tangible way to the team's success? And then as you look back on this in a couple years or whatever, what will be a moment that sticks out to you the most, whether that be coming onto the ice for the first star or maybe a save or, or just an emotion in the locker room? Like, what will stand out to you most? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's great, you know, uh, being part of the Pittsburgh Penguins, obviously growing up. I mean, it was one of the team, you know, you look up to. Uh, it's a great, great group. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Uh, uh, Proud and uh, to to be you know able to, to to be part of the the Penguins, and uh, obviously tonight is going to be a night that, that I'll remember for sure. Uh, and I think probably the one that I remember I'll remember the most is when the buzzer sounded at the end. There is just I don't I don't even know how to describe it. It was such a relief, uh, and within the last you know four minutes, uh, I'd say I, I started to think about the shutout and. Uh, it was, you know, creeping into my head a little bit. I, uh, I wanted it so bad, and the, the boys uh, didn't give up a shot. So I, I'm thankful, and you know, as I said, I'm very, very uh, uh, happy to be here.